hey guys go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so now today we're going to be painting these trinket trays that you guys probably seen in my recent video if you haven't go check it out and i basically did these trays from scratch and if you want to know how i mixed them and made them i have that in my other colored concrete tray video okay so this one i'm going to be working on first and going by the color i'm going to start with like a chocolate drip ice cream cone look and i love how this looks it's very cute and it's an easy art project really well to me um, this is one of the easier stuff but yes so I'm mapping out what I'm drawing and where it's going and I know these sprinkles aren't going to be there because I'm going to be painting right over it but I'm trying to see how it's going to look and how the aesthetic looks. So I'm going to start with painting it and I'm using Amsterdam paint and I mix these Amsterdam paints with some plaster of Paris and that plaster of Paris makes the paint kind of thick and chalky so it gives it a nice matte finish. And then what I'm going to do is work on putting the base color for the cone. Always start with the base color when you're painting. And then after you're done, add your shadows and highlights. And of course, it looks very messy when you're beginning. But trust me, you have to trust the process when it comes to painting. So I do water to do some fixtures while it's still wet. And once it dries and I want to fix it, I go ahead and I use alcohol. Sorry, I'm attempting my best to add the shadows for this. Now, I don't do very realistic looking artwork, so I try my best with like making colors as vibrant, making sure there's highlights, making sure there's shadows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my highlights, and as you can see, ice cream when it's melting or dripping it tends to glisten a bit and you gotta add those glisten highlights so and then i'm gonna use my posca marker white i had tested them or put them on my hands because they're kind of new so i had to poke them the paint out until it showed up and I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of highlighting with white. I don't know white is just too. I like using the lightest color possible. Like if I'm using brown, I want to use the lightest brown possible to highlight. So I probably have to go over that again. And then here are all the colors I'm using. I'm gonna add my sprinkles. Now for some reason my camera had turned off and I needed to show you guys how I added those sprinkles. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my coaster. When the coaster is turning out so much better than the tray to me. I don't know why tinier projects tend to have so much great detail. The smaller the canvas you use, the better the details are for some reason. And now that I'm looking back, I'm like fixing all so that they can, they can be a matching set. The highlights weren't too highlighty in the previous one and now you can see it more. Here's my Posca markers. I'm using the pastel Posca markers. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the sprinkles since you missed it in the last one. I'm, you're able to see it now. I usually do like a whole full corner thing I don't just do the top part I add in those corners just to get a cohesive look and if you notice on the tray I, um, I fixed up the highlights and everything and sprinkles are pretty easy with you using the marker it's so much easier using a paintbrush because the paintbrush when it comes to small objects the mistakes are very very easy to make I don't know, sprinkles to me are so fun to make and they're so cute. So 
what I'm gonna end up doing is probably adding this as a set to my shop, even though the coaster doesn't exactly fit into the tray. I don't know, I'll just make a set of chocolate drip coasters and trays. Because I really like doing this one. I'm really like how, how it turned out. I think it's probably my favorite one that turned out the way it did during this video. Now I'm doing my next one. This one's the pink one. And I'm doing some lemons on this one. Originally when I sketched this out on my iPad, I did like a blue background, but I wanted to try the pink and yellow color combo together. And I don't know what happened with the paint mixture in this one, but I found it was such a difficulty to make it work. It was it was failing from the beginning. And I feel so bad because the leaves were turning out so great. The leaves did nothing and no one but the lemons. And then they got so chalky and thick and ugh. And then once I put started putting that marker as the outline, I had a whole design concept on these. I had pre-designed them on Procreate. And it's right here. I knew one of them was going to fail, and I'm glad it was this one. I'm not really used to doing too many lemons, but I do like lemons as a pattern. But this was a fail, and I'm just, I just want to throw it away. Just put, throw the whole thing in the garbage. It's a mess. I hate it. It's done. I'm done with it. Alright, let's move on to the blue one. My one of the ones that turned out really great with all three. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out my drawing, which I'm doing papayas. Whenever I am wanting to test out a medium or test out what something's gonna look like, I always <laughs> use papayas. When I first got Procreate, I, the first thing I did was paint a papaya. When I first did watercolors, the first thing I did was paint a papaya. Cause that orange color is like one of the best colors to paint. Oranges and reds are such a great color to paint. Here it is, I added those little papaya seeds in the middle. And I'm not doing too much highlights and shadows on this one. It's really, not really necessary. I mean, the papaya achieves a look with just the base colors. And here's our little set. I hope you like them because I really like these, how these two turned out. I really don't like how these turned out. Horrible. Go away. And here they are. So stay tuned. They're going to be my Etsy shop this August. And subscribe for more content if you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.